Hi everybody, this is Catherine from In The Pink Designs. My project today is for St. Patrick's Day. I used the Lucky Clover stamp set for the Happy St. Patrick's Day sentiment. And I used Playing In The Rain stamp set for the turtle. Alrighty, this one is pretty simple, especially if you decide you don't want the window box. That's an extra step, but it's still pr really not too time consuming. And you can get two out of each sheet of cardstock. So if you want to make a lot this week for Friday for St. Patty's Day, this will do it. I put a window sheet in. You don't need it because I have a plastic bag with the candy in there. Um, the cello bags are called, well, these are three by five lip and tape cello bags or cellophane bags. You can get them at Amazon, I believe for a pack of a hundred, it's $5. So there are other places to get it, but that's the easiest, I think. Um, so I will put the link on my blog if you're interested in that. All right. So what we need for this First of all, the box is four and a quarter by three and a quarter by one and a half. Alrighty. And it opens up like this from the bow. But they can just pull this out the side. I just attached it with glue dots on there, okay? So that's how it opens. What we need is some basic white for stamping. We need a piece of mossy metal cardstock that is 11 by three and a quarter. Now this is the Bright's DSP. So we need two pieces that are three by four and one piece that is three quarter by three. I didn't put that on this one, um, but I'll probably will add it on because I think I would like it better if it was up there too. All right, now this is my host code. If you're going to be purchasing anything on my website that is under 150 please put that in i would appreciate that okay so i'm gonna get my simply scored and we're only going to be scoring the 11 inch side and we're going to go to four and a quarter five and three quarters and ten and that's it and there's no cutting for the actual box except for the window I'm just going to fold and burnish these. So now what we're going to do, it's going to fold like this. So this is going to be the front of our box. So we want to attach one of our sheets of Bright's DSP. This is the Granny Apple Green. Alrighty. And it is, again, three by four. There's going to go one on the front and one on the back. But right now, we're just concentrating on the front one. Make sure this is nice and straight. And just let it dry a little bit before you cut it so that the glue does not squeeze out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this square from the Stylus Shapes dies. It's about two by two. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make an even border on the sides and the bottom. All right. So that's about a half an inch, I think, on all sides. And then I'm going to use some of the, no, the uh, easy... Easy C low tack tape is what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to run this through my machine. And this does fit in the mini because it's only three and a quarter inches wide. Okay, and I'm just going to cut it. Okay, and I'm just going to gently peel off the tape so that it doesn't take any of the paper with it. And then this comes right out of the middle. You can use that for another project if you wish. All right, now we're going to flip it over. And I forgot to say that we need a piece of window sheet that is, I didn't write it down, two and a half by two and a half. 
All right, and we're just going to put a very thin line of glue. Now you can use glue dots if you don't want to mess with the glue. So it is kind of annoying if it gets on your window sheet. This is a little thick right there. All right. And then I'm just going to take my window sheet and put it right down on top of this and then just gently press on all the sides. Yeah, this side I did do just a little too much over here, so I'm just gonna press it and get anything that comes out. And that's your window sheet. You don't have to do that again because this kind of looks like a window sheet from the inside, but I put the, the resin flowers on it so that's why I wanted it in there. All right, now for our package. What I'm going to do is put two glue dots on the top here. Now, you can use any size bag that you have and just fold it. And the best tape I have found is cello tape. It's called Transparent Tape Glossy Finish. This is from Walmart. It's about $1.24, I think. And when you put it on the bags, it doesn't really show up that much, so it's perfect. All right, I'm just gonna take two of the glue dots and put them right on this top part. All right, and then I'm gonna stand it like right in the middle of my bag where it will kind of lay and then Pull the back up and the front up, and then just give it a little squeeze so it will stay right there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take, oops, let's put the rest of our DSP on first. All right, so we need one for the back that is also three by four, and one for this piece on the flap here that is three quarter by three and liquid glue for these also. Okay, now I'm gonna sand it up how I like it, which is just like this. So it looks kind of like that in the inside. And I'm just gonna hold it by each side while I punch a hole in the middle as far as my punch will go. You might have to just make a mark, do the top and do the inside if you're punch won't go through this three layers two of four layers two of cardstock and two of DSP so you might have a hard time so you can do it separate it will make a mark on the inside and then you can do them separately right and then that okay then I'm just gonna take some of this golden vanilla satin edged ribbon and I'm gonna put it through the inside holes first. And how much do I need? I probably need about this much. Okay. And then through the back of the front holes. And just pull it so that everything's nice and even and then you're gonna tie a bow okay I'm just gonna clip off the ends alrighty and that's the box okay now we're gonna work on the decorations all right so let's get our basic white and I'm going to do the turtle with tuxedo black ink and this of course is from playing in the rain stamp set okay and then with mossy meadow ink i'm going to do happy saint patrick's day and this is from the lucky clover stamp set great okay all right and then i'm going to die cut the turtle first all right now we only I'm only using four 
stamp and blends this time i'm using light and dark old olive and light and dark daffodil delight and i'm going to do the spots with light old olive okay and also his hands feet and head And then for his belly, I'm just going to put a little bit of dark right up against his shell. And then I'm just going to use light daffodil delight for the rest of his shell, inside shell, sorry, his belly actually. Okay, and then with dark old olive, I'm going to do the rest of his shell. Okay, and then with light old olive, I'm going to do the center of the flower. And with dark daffodil delight, I'm going to do the petals. Okay. And that's the turtle. Okay, now that we have this all done, I'm going to get my dimensionals. Okay, the nice thing about having the window sheet aside from the resin flowers is that you don't have to attach him just on this edge, right? So I can put dimensionals wherever I want now. All right, oops, I don't want to do that yet. So I'm going to put that there. First, we're going to deal with our sentiment. And I am just going to trim it. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of slant this one like that. And then the other one the same way. Okay. And I'm just going to glue this down right in between whatever I can fit between <laughs> the square and the bottom of the DSP. And I'm going to put liquid glue on that. Maybe I will put it up a little bit so it covers the bottom of the square. That's okay. Okay. And we'll put on our turtle. And I'm going to have him kind of just standing on there. And his, the edge of his shell is going to just hang off just a little bit. Okay. And then for the final touch, I'm going to use the Fun Flowers Resin Shapes. And I'm going to use the green ones, which are Parakeet Party my take your pick tool and oops I'm gonna put one right here one down there small one a big one here small one there and a small one up over here and then Big one right there. And a small one right there. So that's five. Nice odd amount. All right, and that's it. If you have any questions, my email is below, along with the link to my blog that has all of the links and directions, measurements, and also the link to my shop where you can purchase any of these Stampin' Up! supplies. All right, thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate the time you spend, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.